Hello everybody, Nation So Jackson CPA here. I wanted to do a quick video because I saw a somewhat disturbing post on a group chat um, here in Phoenix, and I just wanted to kind of say some things about this. So this this person was posting a, a an item on this group chat stating that they'll help you get a PVP loan and that they're gonna charge you $5,000 for every $20,000 that you receive. If you do the math on that, that's 25%, okay? That's ridiculous, all right? Um, these applications are not that complicated. You know, they're complicated enough to where you may wanna get some assistance, but not that complicated to where you should be paying someone $5,000 for every $20,000 of a PPP loan that you receive. Uh, borderline unethical, borderline illegal if you ask me. There's all kind of issues with that. Additionally, there's a law that says, in the law for the PPP loans, that says you cannot pay someone from your PPP funds. You cannot use those funds to pay someone that helped you to get the funds, okay? So if you're paying them $5,000 and you're not paying them out of your pocket ahead of time, you're technically breaking the law. So be very careful with stuff like that. Uh, not only is it ridiculous, it's a complete ripoff if you ask me. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's no reason to be charging someone that much for a PVP loan. Um, now I will say that I do charge. You know, if you come to our firm for assistance as a CPA, I am charging. Uh, it's basically just for a little bit of our time uh, in terms of helping you to go through the application process. We have a connection with the lender that we send you to and you know basically help you through the whole process to make sure that your loan gets approved or that we do the very best to get your loan approved. There's some things that are outside of our control, um, like if you have certain uh, issues with your background and things of that nature, but for the most part, we are very successful getting people approved. The most we charge someone is $500 for an application for a PPP loan, okay? Um, because we do not believe in being a, a complete ripoff in that regard. 5,000 is just way insane. So please, please, if anyone has seen that post that I'm referring to um, on this group chat, or if you see any other stuff out there, please try to dissuade people from doing that. Um, this person has no additional connections or things like that that are gonna help you to get this loan any better than anybody else. And if they do do some stuff like maybe say you have a business that you don't actually have and things like that, that's all fraudulent. And so be, be very careful. Um, there are people that are getting uh, caught up in these PPP loans. They're filing fraudulent stuff just to get the funds and things like that. They're catching up to them. You hear stories in articles uh, every day in the news and things like that about people that are getting caught up on these PPP loans. You know, most of the stuff you hear about are the bigger ones, but they're gonna start catching up to some of the smaller ones as well. So just be careful, be cautious, um, and just understand and know kind of who it is that is, is talking to you. So I'm a certified CPA, so I can't, you know, tell you stuff that is fraudulent or do fraudulent things or, you know, give you bad advice um, because that's something that we have to, we're held to a higher standard. So. We want to make sure that, you know, if we're suggesting that you do something, we're acting as a fiduciary for you in that sense. And so we want to make sure that whatever we're telling you to do or whatever we're asking you to do, um, that it makes sense. It, it complies with the laws and the regulations that are out there. And so we do what we can to help you through the process. Okay. Now that said, you know, if you don't want to pay anything, whether it's that massive amount or even our smaller fee of like $500, um, just to kind of help with the process. There are various places you can go to get assistance. So there's a local lender here in Phoenix, for anybody who's on that group page that I'm gonna post this video to, there's a local lender here in Phoenix called Prestamos CDFI. It's a community-based um, financial program, and they focus on small business owners, minority small business owners at that. Um, so even outside of the PPP, if you ever needed some funding and assistance for your business, this is a place where you want to go to get some assistance for your business. They do these micro loans, they do other things like that. So by all means, please, please make sure that you're not wasting your um, benefits that you should be receiving and frankly, potentially creating legal issues for yourself by giving someone a commission off of the loan because you're not allowed to use those funds to pay for someone's services. Okay, those are four payroll, 
utilities, rent, mortgage interest, and certain other coronavirus related costs. That's all that you can use those funds for. So if you take those funds to pay someone, all right, you could potentially get yourself into some issues. Um, there's one exception to that, which is if you're doing the owner compensation replacement, and if you're just paying for that owner compensation replacement outside of your own owner compensation replacement funds. That would be the only potential exception to that, but even that's kind of a little bit of a gray area. So just be cautious, think about it. Let us know if you have any questions. You know, feel free to comment on this video. Um, feel free to go to our website, iljcpa.com. Um, we also have a YouTube channel that I'll post a link to here as well. And so feel free to, you know, check us out, um, get all the information that you can. Um, we post a lot of videos from time to time about various things. You know, right now it's a lot of them have been centered around coronavirus and all the bills and legislation that's been passed. But, you know, we do have other stuff that we, and content that we do post as well. Just about general stuff to help you to build wealth and to continue and be pr prosperous. So I just wanted to do this quick video to kind of dispel some of this stuff that I'm seeing out there. Um, you know, be cautious of people who are telling you you can get three loans and you can, they're going to charge you $5,000 for every $20,000 that you receive from the PPP loan. Okay. There's a lot of rules and a lot of regulations related to these things. Um, but at the same time, don't be afraid to apply. Okay. Just because it's using the term loan, PPP loan, don't be afraid to apply. They are a hundred percent forgivable, a hundred percent forgivable. As long as you follow the rules of the program, and what we do as a part of our fee that we're charging is we're going to make sure that you understand the rules of the program and that you do what you can to ensure that you get 100% forgiveness. Okay, We make sure that you follow those rules and do what we can to get you 100% forgiveness. Okay, So please just be cognizant of what's out there um, and you know don't, don't just go and bite at the apple just to kind of get a quick buck. So do your research and... We'll talk to you later.